I find that her withholding monies from your estate is unwarranted and completely unreasonable. I propose to change all that. Bonnie, your plan to open the Bonnie Bodybuilder Club can be a moneymaker and a great public service as well. Oh, I love him already. Now, let's say you need $40,000 to buy out the silk form self-service slenderizing salon. Well, it was 40. Now they're asking 50. I think we can still get it at your price for cash. They're practically bankrupt, so I stopped at the bank this morning. 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20. Ooh, nothing like nice, crisp money to dicker with. Uh, 30? 35? $40,000 for the Bonnie Bodybuilder Club. Here. Use it in good health. Oh, Mr. Ginger, you're divine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget my own strength. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, let's see. You're next. Uh, oh, uh, Jan. I think, if anything, Chloe should have encouraged your interest in unknown artists. But they wouldn't be unknown if they weren't the victims of entrenched conservatism. Exactly. It's a big conspiracy. Every critic, every gallery owner, like from Squaresville. Say, so why not open your own gallery? Oh, could I? Of course you've got the artist. Find a location, think up a name, and, well, just send the bills to me. Oh, wow! He's the wildest lawyer mother ever had yet. I hate to kiss and split, Deep Baby, but... Well, I can't wait to clue the clan. They'll flip. Wait for me. I didn't know what you were worried about, Kate. He's the greatest. Mmm, crazy. Jan! Oh, hi, Deep. Seymour Baby just read me his farewell note to the world. It's all an iambic pentameter. Would you like to hear it? Later, why don't you go get yourself a drink, Seymour Baby, huh? <laughs> Isn't she the end? She talked about her jumping. <laughs> I just told him his last couple of stanzas needed punching up, and I slipped him 50 to pay his back rent. Ah, what a girl. Oh, Jan, I want you to meet an old sweetheart of yours. Sam! Yeah. Oh, Sam, baby, I thought you'd never get here. Well, uh... Oh, mm. <laughs> Oh, Sam, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy working together again? Crazy is the word. Now, why don't you... Go, go comb your hair. Oh, was right. You haven't changed. You're still a square. And you're still a spoiled brat. Sam, haven't you ever seen a Cary Grant movie? Don't tell me. I know. I, I shouldn't have said it. But ever since we were kids, I could never say what I wanted to say around her. You'd think, after all my experience with delinquents, I'd at least know how to handle jam. But no, oh no. Elaine, I, you're leading again. Hey, listen, everybody. Hey, gang. Uh, now hear this. I hate to be a drag, but the bar closes in five minutes and the front door in ten. You all got to split. Oh. I'm sorry. It's the advice of counsel, baby. <laughs> What happened? What do you think of the bloodshot eye? What? It's the name of my gallery. Oh, fine, fine. I told Sam you'd like it, and that really bugged him. Man, is he jealous of you. Of me? Well, why else would he put me across his knee and battery me like that? Now, can I sue him for damages? You could. You'd have to exhibit the damaged area in court. <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> of course not. Now, home. It's late. I'm sure Sam will be around tomorrow to kiss and make up. Now, why are you so anxious to get rid of me? Are you expecting somebody else? Oh, at this hour? You it... are. And why not? You're a perfectly normal swinging bachelor. Oh, come on. In no. those crazy silk pajamas, blah, blah, boom. I'll have my Hong Kong tailor whip up another pair for Sam. Now, just run along and keep cool and try some warm Epsom salts. Ah. On the other hand, uh, maybe you ought to try a tranquilizer. And lie down for a while and stay absolutely quiet. 